Hi, I'm Merritt, and I play Demetrius in the show. Hi, I'm uh, Justin, and I'll be playing Kyra. And very nasty. They're pretty bad people, For, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they'll be, I mean, they're pretty fun, but you know, you wouldn't want to meet them walking down the street, I don't think. <laughs> I think the, the concept for the characters that they are the people that you should love to hate, yeah. mm -hmm. even more so than Tamara. Yeah. Um, and that by the time they, well, I don't want to spoil anything. So. Oh, we're, we're expecting to be booed as soon as we come out for curtain. <laughs> we are on Tamara's side. Definitely. We are the Goths, not the Romans. Mm -hmm. They're just brother and sister who have, you know, bickering motives, but they get along pretty well and I think they make a pretty good team. In the original Shakespeare, my role is played by a male and Robert, our director, decided to take it in a different direction with this production in casting Demetrius as a female. I think it adds a really interesting twist to the dynamic of the family, mm. as well as it changes her relationship to Chiron a lot and also her relationship to her actions throughout the play, which you'll see more of when you see the show. It definitely gives me a lot more to play off of because, you know, two brothers bickering is good, but I think like the brother and sister gives it a lot more energy. Okay, for people that don't know what Titus is about, one, it's known as Shakespeare's most gory play. Um, it's about revenge, it's mm -hmm. about a vengeance, it's about pride, and it's about Fam Justice and family. And family, really. Yeah. I think one of my favorite parts is actually one of our scenes, but it's right after a huge twist in the story mm -hmm. um, in which you really get to see how, ba like before, it's just kind of like, well, these guys are gross and nasty and we don't like them and that's fun. But then after this scene is when you really, this scene, the scene I love is the one where you realize, oh, they are truly just awful people. Two words, the forest. The forest. That's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I think that's my favorite. Mm -hmm. my that favorite was the part. scene that made me go, I have to be in the show. Yeah. <laughs> I, love, I love theater that affects an audience, and I think that that scene will be effective. Mm -hmm. We've set this production of Titus Andronicus in uh, mob era New York, mm -hmm. and the way that I feel that really affects the show is through the connection with family. Mm -hmm. I mean, it definitely invites a lot more sleaziness to the characters. It definitely adds a lot more, I think, grittiness. Because it is, because when you do reread it, it is kind of like a mobster movie. I think when people see mob films or read things about mob, you always think the family. Mm -hmm. And um, family is such a big part in the show that it really glues so well with that concept. And I think for me as an actor, that brought more connection for me. Mm -hmm. It's a thrilling piece of theater. Yeah, I mean, the most dramatic Shakespeare show I've done is Othello. And after that, I just did comedy after comedy. So it's a huge, like, dramatic jump as far as Shakespeare goes. I think this is the most um, Grecian-style tragedy I've ever seen Shakespeare produce. Mm -hmm. Out of, like, even other tragedies that he has. Um, the fall of Titus is just, it's heart-wrenching. It just is. A man so tall, demolished to absolute nothing. It's, for me personally, it's everything I wanted Coriolanus to be. Like, I really mm. wanted Coriolanus to end in this huge, like, revenge-filled ending. And it's just sort of, but Titus just takes it, takes all that from Coriolanus and just jumps. <laughs> yeah, it just seems like a lot of the tragedies um, in Shakespeare is like, we're going to do something messed up and people are gonna be really upset about it. Um, whereas in Titus, it's like, you just did that and I'm gonna take it 10 steps farther. Yeah, Titus is, <laughs> I think Titus is a tragedy without any apology, really. Yeah, yeah. This isn't a, a predictable show. What's good about it is it is one of the most unknown. Like I ask people, I'm like, hey, you know, I'm doing Titus and they're like, what's that? The good thing about that is because most people yes. won't know what to expect. Cause like, I feel yeah. like most people haven't read it. I certainly hadn't read it before the audition came up. And when I did read it, I was like, whoa. <laughs> so that's what I'm most excited about, is just like people just witnessing this show come to life and then they'll go back and just 
like look it up and I'm like, wow. One great thing about Shakespeare is how it continuously opens up over the process mm -hmm. and rewatching it, rewatching it, you discover something new as an audience member or an actor as well. Um, and I think this show with the concept and everything, it is worth multiple um, watches. Mm -hmm. Titus Andronicus, directed by Robert Meek, opens at Clear Creek Community Theater. July 14th through the 30th. Come see the show and you can buy your tickets in the link below. It is a show you will not forget. That's for sure.